Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Uniquely Tay. In today's video, it is something that's so true and dear to my heart, but it has a spin to it. Of course, everyone knows that October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, all of you that do know that have been coming to my channel for a while now and for all of my new family that do not know my grandmother is a breast cancer survivor i thank god for healing her body and setting her free and i just like to always every year to pay tribute and honor to everyone that has gone through breast cancer that survivors even for different families that have lost loved ones to breast cancer. Um, this video is dedicated to all of you. And um, pretty much um, everyone knows that Uniquely Tay is all Christmas. As you can see, all Christmas, all behind me, everywhere. And I'm preparing for the upcoming season. So in today's video, I'll be sharing a Christmas tree um, styling. I'm gonna show you how to style a Christmas tree but it's going to have a breast cancer theme. It's going to be pink everything. So pretty much this is going to be a pink DIY Christmas tree. I have to style and decorate. So thank you so much to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for being so faithful to my channel. Um, for all of you who don't know, who may not know who I am, I am Tay of Uniquely Tay. I do DIYs home decor videos, shopping, tablescapes, and much more. If you love videos like these, you're in the right place to be. So we're going to just go ahead on and get started with this nice and easy DIY. Okay. This is the Christmas tree that I'm going to be using. It is a three foot flock Christmas tree. So you can see exactly what it looked like. That's the Christmas tree that we're going to be using. I'm going to give you a DIY, well not a DIY, a video coming soon about where I got this special Christmas tree from and a bunch of different home decor video, home decor items that I actually have in store for all of you. So this is what we're going to be using, our tree. So, I have these beautiful... I on that backwards. I have this beautiful crate and barrel garland that I only paid a dollar for that I'm going to be using on the tree itself. I have these beautiful ornaments right here, pink and white, that came from Dollar Tree. I also have these right here that came from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using on the tree. I also have some boas. I have two of those that will also be going on the Christmas tree. And I also have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful churches that I got from my local Dollar Tree also. Stunning, stunning, stunning. They will be going on the tree also too. I have not um, gotten my hooks out just yet. All right, as you can see, I've already added one boa to it. Now I'm going to add my other boa to it also. I think I'm going to just loop it in the bag like this. I'm going to loop it like that so it can be fully wrapped just like this. And I come down like that. Okay. All right. I'm trying to hide my ending. I like to try to hide my ending if possible. There we go. All right. That looks pretty good. So I pray that everyone is having a great day today. That everyone is having a great Saturday. Everybody is well. I'm having a great Saturday. It looks like it's going to rain in my area. I'm going to put up this one right here. I like it's gonna rain in my area. It's starting to get a little dark. A little dark. But this is something that I try to always do every year. Um, I try to always make a video dedicated to all 
of the breast cancer survivors or to people that has lost family members due to breast cancer. And I'm just so grateful to still have my grandma. I'm just grateful to have her in my life. Just to be in a situation where I'm still able to talk to her and go out places with her on a daily basis. I'm just so grateful. So grateful. All right. And we're going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add some of these too. Try not to add too many at one time. See y'all, I'm using these little hooks right here. Right here. I'm so sorry y'all. My lights was getting so dim. It's getting stormy out. And um I needed some extra lighting and ooh. Here we go. We're gonna add that one up there too. This month has totally like just ran right on past. It's going by so so quickly. So quickly. Put that one up here. Uh I don't know if any of you watch Hallmark movies because I do. I am a, me, my mom and I and my kids, we are Hallmark fanatics. So we watch Hallmark all the time. Right here. And right here, this is what I'm using, the little plastic link. Because I haven't gotten um, my, um, that's going to act like my star. I'm going to show y'all that in a few minutes. Once I get it up here good. But that's going to act like my star on my tree. I'm going to take that down from there. I'm just going to hang it here. But yeah. This is something that's so dear to my heart. And I'm just so grateful to be able to do this each and every year. And I love this one. This one looks really good too. Y'all know what? I'm just going to decorate the front side of my tree. I'm not even going to decorate the whole entire back side at all. Because that's the part that nobody's going to see. Let me know in the comments if you're a type of person that leaves like the back of your tree kind of bare. Or you don't put nothing up there at all. And the only thing you do is just um, add ornaments to the front because that's what we do. <laughs> Here's another one too. We put just a little bit of ornaments to like the back. Just a little bit. But most of our ornaments go up to the front. Put it right up there. And I think I'm going to put this one right here. Here's my last little cute decorative one right here. I think we're going to put this one right here. like a flock tree so gorgeous oh yes it's coming out so good it looks good, it looks good. okay so I'm gonna add some pink flowers right here um I like to fill in my gaps so I'm just gonna sit them there like that <clears throat> well you know what before I add my pink flowers let me take that down I forgot all about it. I had this right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is the um, Crate and Barrel um, Diamond Garland. And this right here was a thrill find. A thrill find from a garage sale. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let y'all see some of it. So y'all can see. And I'm going to show you a little bit of close up. Uh, it's stunning. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm um, going to give you an overview too so you can see what it looked like. We're going to leave this tree up 
Well, we're going to use this tree for the rest of the season once I put up my regular decor. But the pink decor on this flock tree is going to stay up for the rest of the month of October. Just paying tribute to all the breast cancer survivors, honoring my grandma and everyone else that has battled with breast cancer. Look, this stuff is getting tangly. Each time I untangle it, it tangles right back up. Okay, it's the last loop. So pretty though. Okay, I got it untangled. So I'm going to hold it on my shoulder. And I'm going to start from the top. Y'all may not be able to see this all the way. but Let's see. You know what? Probably should have put this up here before I put my um ornaments up here. Let me go around this other side. <laughs> Let me see. Still here, y'all. Had to come on the other side to wrap. My little tree. Yep. Y'all, I cannot wait to share this block Christmas tree and where I actually got it from and how much I paid for it, y'all. Like, it will blow your mind. That video will be coming up. <clears throat> next week let's see i'm just realizing that i had all right it looks good all right there we go i'm gonna rewrap the rest of it Once I, I don't want to here we go. Take up too much of y'all's time. All right. Okay, it looks really, really good. So we're gonna add the pink flowers now. Just like that. Like I said, I just like filling in the gaps. You're gonna just fill in the gaps. Just like that. Fill in the gaps. But yep, yeah, we love Hallmark. They already got a lot of their Hallmark movies already out and going, y'all. So, that would just feel. If y'all are Hallmark, Hallmark people, like we are, the movies are going, and the movies are good. And I'm the type that I'll just even watch me a Christmas movie, even um, on Netflix. Like, I have been watching Christmas movies on Netflix while my kids is in school. We've been doing that, and it's been such a joy i just get home relax and turn on a netflix movie i soaked my feet the other day while watching my christmas movie and I, it was just so relaxing so now we're gonna add our church i think i'm gonna put my church I'm trying to decide where i'm gonna put it in let's see we'll put one here Because in a time like this, the only person that can get you through is Jesus. Especially when you're going through cancer and <clears throat> you battling a disease as deep as this. And I know that God was with my grandma during her time. 
that she was going through. I'm gonna move that one. I think I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm just so grateful to still be able to have her here with us. I'm trying to figure out which where I'm gonna put this one at. I think I'm gonna just. I think I'm gonna sit it right there. For some reason it looked like it should go right up in there. Let's see. Let's see, let me see it. Y'all, I love a full Christmas tree. I know some people like a lot of stuff on this Christmas tree. I love full Christmas trees. That's me. I like them full. I like them beautiful and full. So, that would be the last one I'm probably going to put up there. I'm not going to put nothing else on that piece. I'm just going to hang a few more of these um, pink ones like this, and then we'll be done. Okay. All right. I'm adding my last one. Then I'm going to add. I'm going to let all of you see where we put this beautiful flock Christmas tree at. Looks real good. I'm going to give you an overview of everything. I didn't use all my flowers. I used most of my ornaments. Um, there was a few ornaments that I did not use. Just a few. I think I'm gonna put my Chris, my last one right here. Change my mind. I'm gonna put this last one right there. That's just me, y'all. That's just me. Let's see. That's almost a little bit more. All right, that looks really good. I'm gonna let y'all see. And move some of my flock. I got flock everywhere. Huh? Lot just falling off the tree. Put one more piece up there. All right. Trying to make sure I got everything filled in. It looked like I need to put one more flower right there. Okay. I'm done. I'm going to give y'all an overview. This is what it looks like from the top. I'm going to go from the bottom all the way up to the top. It looks so good. It looks so good. We're going to put this in front of our mantle. And I'm going to let you all see what it looks like. Because there's something special about the churches that's on this tree. Alright y'all. This is an overview of the tree. I have my fan on right now. So that's why the... It's so good. I love it. I love it. It's right here by our mantle. And this is in honor of all survivors. We appreciate you. We love you. Keep standing strong. And I keep everyone in my prayers. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Uniquely Tay. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And create, explore, and enjoy. And I catch you all in my next video.